You might have seen these brown shiny devices around you on an electric pole, on transformers, and even in electric trains. They are called insulators. This is what would happen if insulators were not present. In this video, we will come to understand why insulators are used, their different types, and also why they have a peculiar shape. Transmission wires don't have an insulation shield, because providing insulation to the entire length would unnecessarily increase their weight. Moreover, it also decreases the rate of heat transfer from the conductor to the atmosphere. The heat generated by the conductor is trapped between the insulator and the conductor, which could damage the wire. However, there is an issue with this naked transmission line when any conductor is placed near to it. The high-powered electrons start jumping from wire to conductor, which leads to sparks. The simple solution is to place an insulator wherever required. Here, it is placed between the wire and the pole. Now we have perfectly isolated the wire from the pole. However, there is a small issue. Let's study the nature of the electric field lines in this case with the help of FEA results produced by EMWorks. Here, the electric field lines pass through the insulator and air as well. You might have seen that all the electrical flashovers occur through the air. Hence, let's examine the air's electric field in detail. Let's consider this example of air volume. Consider two points, A and B. The intensity of the electric field lines at both points is the same, but more field lines pass through point A. This means atom A is experiencing more force and becoming more stressed than B. That means A is more likely to leave its electron first and initiate the flashover process. A similar case happens with our cylindrical insulator design. Here, the number of electric field lines are quite high near the surface of the insulator and the chance of flashover is high here. We can solve this issue with the addition of a simple disk. This FEA result from EMWorks clearly shows what happens to the electric field lines when a disk is present. You can see that the addition of the disk has reduced the number of electric field lines in the air significantly, even though the electric field intensity is the same. This reduction will greatly reduce the chance of a flashover. If we slightly modify the disk design, it will solve another issue with the insulators, the conducting path of water droplets when it rains. We know that an umbrella is our best tool when we need to escape the rain. Let's modify the disk design and make it an umbrella shape. Here, the water drops do not accumulate on the insulator, so the chance of a conductive water path is reduced. Further, the rain effect can be minimized by adding more of these smaller umbrellas. We have successfully developed an insulator for electric poles. You must have seen similar types of insulators on top of the transformers. But why do transformers need insulators? You can see what will happen in the transformer if the insulators are not used. There will be arcing between the high voltage power line and the low voltage transformer body. Thus, the conductor should be isolated from the body of the transformer. Due to this, the geometry of the transformer insulators are different. They will allow current to flow in an axial direction and provide good insulation radially. However, the electric pole insulators are providing insulation in axial direction. The transformer insulators are known as bushings. Another popular type of the insulator is the suspension type. Here, the power line is suspended from the insulators. Suspension insulators have multiple disks connected with metallic pins. However, the presence of these pins causes a big electrical issue in this design. To get clear results, we are reducing the number of disks. And let's do an FEA simulation once again with the help of EMWorks. You can see from this result that there is an unequal voltage distribution between these disks, which causes unequal stress. Let's see how this unequal voltage occurs and how we can avoid this. Here, you can observe two metallic pins of the insulator acting as capacitor plates with a dielectric between them. 
Similarly, there is one more type of capacitor that forms between the tower and metallic pins, in which air acts as a dielectric. The unequal voltage distribution is caused by this capacitance effect. Luckily, a simple metallic ring can negate this capacitance effect and the voltage issue. This ring forms another capacitor opposite to the shunt capacitor. We hope you enjoyed the insulator video. Before you leave, please don't forget to be a Lessex team member. See you next time.